Do you remember when you were younger and you can sit in a classroom all day and learn everything that you needed from a teacher with no problem? Think about the last training that you were in or the last educational experience you had as an adult. If you're anything like me, I bet after the first 15 minutes you figured that you got everything you needed out of the conversation, you were done, and you checked out for the rest of the conversation. The great news is it may not have been your fault. Adult learners learn in a manner that is quite different than children. What we're going to discuss today are some topics of value to the adult learner. The first of them being immediate, immediate implementation. Second being autonomy and collaboration. Followed up by how an adult validates the information that they receive. And then also the ever so fun attention span of the adult. So let's start by talking about immediate implementation. In a 2014 article, Dr. Mahan and Dr. Stein found that adults take information first in the short-term memory portion of the brain. In order for the concepts to be carried over into the long-term memory portion of the brain, implementation or practice has to be uh, done at that point to connect the neurons for the information to flow from the temporary portion to the long-term memory. I myself have experienced this phenomenon working as a new hire trainer. Uh, I found that when adults are able to practice a concept or discuss a concept immediately after learning it. It tends to help with the retention of the concept and also their ability to perform that function in the real world. Now that we've talked about immediate uh, implementation, let's talk about autonomy and collaboration. Perkesh Sharma and Avandi found that first engaging adult learners in discussion and debate about the topic tends to uh, peak interest of the adult in learning the topic itself. Rather than a lecture, adults prefer for you to give them the objectives of what they need to learn so that they can be in charge of their own learning of those objectives. We can see here in this learning pyramid from the National Training Laboratories that lecture only accounts for about 5% of the retention rate of the adult learner. As we move down, we have discussion here at the 50% 50, 50 mark, so it's a vast improvement when an adult learner is able to engage in discussion about the topic rather than just listen to somebody lecture to them. So we've learned about that concept. The next one is going to be how adults validate the information they receive. Unlike school-aged children, adults have some personal beliefs and have some experiences, and sometimes those beliefs and experiences can make learning new concepts difficult to them. They're in defiance of learning the new concepts. Adults will also decide what concepts you're giving them are of value to them personally and what they can actually use for immediately, immediate implementation or immediate usefulness based off of the information that you're providing them. And that's what they'll accept and that's what they'll remember. The last thing that we'll talk about is the attention span of an adult learner. There's a lot of uh, funny things out there on the internet that are comparing the adult attention span to the attention span of a goldfish with the indication that the goldfish can pay attention longer than the adult. I'm not sure how you measure the, atten the attentiveness of a goldfish, but I have had quite a bit of experience with the attentiveness of adults. In the 2015 article, um, Hobb said that adults can only focus for up to 10 minutes at a time. What this means as a facilitator or even as a learner is that if you're not taking uh, short breaks, soft breaks, discussions, practices, those types of things, um, then what will happen is the adult learner will lose attention and will not remember any of the information following. So again, we can see how the values of immediate implementation of new information, how adults value autonomy and collaboration when learning. We've learned about how adults validate the information that they receive in and then also the attention span of the average adult learner. Adults learn in a manner that is quite different than children. I hope that throughout this speech you were able to reflect um, and get some helpful tips that can help you the next time that you're facilitating a training for adults or also help you become more aware on how to be a more effective adult learner.